Hi guys, welcome once again. Here's another video in the uh, Case Mod project series. Today I'm going to be looking at wiring because I've done a little bit more on this now. We've actually fitted the terminal block, or rather terminal blocks. Let's just have a look down here. As you can see we've got an eight-way terminal block in here now, um, which fits very nicely on the back of the hard drive bay. That was originally a 12-way, but I've cut four off and I've put that one up there. What I might use this for is I might strip off a Molex and um, run that into here. So I've got a 12 volt and a 5 volt rail of power and two earths on there, which means if I want to run something on 12 through a terminal block I can. It also gives me an option to run something at, at 7 volts as well. But this is the main reason for uh, running the terminal block because this is going to power the fans and the LED. So you remember we're going to be using the orange 3.3 volt wires to power the, uh, the purple LEDs and then we've got the red 5 volt wire to power the fans and I've got this connected up at the moment so it is doing just that. So let's just have a look at the top which is the power coming into the terminal block so we've got a 3.3 then an earth, a 3.3 then an earth so that allows us to basically to twin the 3.3 volt supplies with their earths and then on here um, we only had one um, 5 volt uh, uh, wire so I've jumped that across to here so that we've got two um, 5 volts coming out and to give the extra earth I've jumped across that earth as well so what I've got at the moment then is one fan connected up here and this is actually uh, connected up to two fans we've got a Molex pass through here and the uh, that connects out through this green cable to the, to the large fan on the front there we go and also to the other fan on the back now I probably won't leave it connected up that way but I've just done that to basically make sure that everything works and it does work rather well indeed so I'm pleased with how that's turned out and I do like this um, particular type of terminal block I wasn't going to go for this originally I got one of these because I thought well it'll you know it'll help me to see if it's going to work and actually I really like it because basically these are just screws just a screw in type and you can actually all you need is, is, is bare cable ends or tinned cable ends you don't need to bother with any connectors or doing any crimping or anything like that so I find that quite easy and I also find that it's very unobtrusive as well so that's probably the solution that I'll stick with because you really won't notice that around the other side of there at all um, at the moment I'm just running this up here and um, obviously my plan as I said was to run it across there um, but don't forget at the moment this is just really um, temporary because this case has got to be painted so I'll, I'm not going to put too many cable ties and things on at the moment um, once we've painted the case we'll then tidy everything up you now you might ask the question well if you're going to paint it shouldn't you do that first well maybe you should but I just want to make sure that all my ideas that I've got for the wiring and the electrical side of things um, does actually work first before I do anything else with it. Just another point to note as well, um, there are some interesting other voltage options on here I've noticed as well. Um, I've mentioned 7 volts and you can use this for the 7 volt mod of course. If you, if you take uh, your 12 volt as your positive and run your ground through 5 volts you get the difference which is 7 volts. But on here you've got 5 volts and if you connect that up to your, your negative up to 3.3 volts then obviously you get 1.7 and that's good for powering um, red LEDs, they're lower power, so that 3.3 volt rail is um, it's quite useful on your computer not used a lot really and I thought it occurred to me, because this was an older power supply and had that odd connector that uh, we don't really use if you had a new power supply and you still wanted to do the same thing then you can achieve the same thing by using one of the SATA uh, power cables so that would do exactly the same, the SATA um, cap power cables do have a 3.3 volt rail on them which they, uh, which they don't use, I don't think there's any SATA um, hardware that uses 3.3 volts at the moment but that is in the spec so it's there on the cable um, obviously if you use an adapter, Molex to SATA adapter it's not there but the proper dedicated SATA cables will have that so that's another option to use um, if I were to upgrade the power supply on this so well I've rabbited on a fair bit about this wiring and the terminal block and everything um, that is really all I wanted to show you for today um, might not look like a lot but that was a couple of hours work just to get that sorted um, I'm just waiting now on um, a couple of clear fans turning up and my, my next job is going to be to, to uh, get the LEDs in the in the fans at the back um, the, two, the two blue ones here and then to get one of my other fans that's going to come uh, in the front here with, with purple LEDs in as well so that's kind of my next job 
um, once that's done and we've got them in um, then I'll be getting to the point where I will be starting to think about painting the case so thanks very much for watching once again and uh, please feel free to leave a comment give any advice and, and uh, subscribe to the videos thank you